Hey guys, so today I'm going to try to be as unbiased as I can about this issue. And the issue is the mana source has just run, won a auction for a foil mythic rare uncut sheet from Guilds of Ravnica, benefiting extra life for kids in the Seattle Children's Hospital. He's going to add it to his own charity auction for St. Jude's in the spring. Now, this is obviously a great organization. I just am surprised that the mana source is bidding on things of this nature. Uh, in the past, the mana source has made either jokes or has actually tried to buy original artwork for his own collection. And here we see him actually using money. Now the question is, where did this money come from? And before you guys say, oh, he's donating the money, of course, that's what's going on. Uh, if he doesn't bid on it, someone else would donate a similar amount of money, maybe a little bit less, but they would have this piece to enjoy. And all his income comes from donations. Um, that's his entire income. He doesn't have a job. So if you don't have a job and where is this money coming from? It, it only can be coming from one source. It's either YouTube revenue, Twitch revenue, which is very, very little amounts of money, or Patreon donations and or Kickstarter GoFundMe donations. So here we have a little kid saying, bullshit, earlier this year, you pandered to your audience to pay your medical bills because of your incompetence of not having medical insurance when you easily could have had the money you make. Now you're paying in auctions just a couple months later. And of course, Manor Source has many fans. Whether it's a charity or not is moot. He's spending money. My implication is that if he could have paid for this, he most likely had the money then he could have paid for his medical bills. But rather, he pleaded to his audience to raise his money to pay them. Also, people donated a ton of money. It's possible there's some left over, so it's being used for charitable purposes. That's true. If that's the case, it's at least a responsible use of the money. Uh, there is no accounting as to what money was paid to where. And according to the mana source himself, I take the words from the horse's mouth. I don't make up these statements. Uh, I do dissect them and try to break them down in a more coherent way, but I always use the mana source's own tweets. Uh, I'm not making this stuff up. So of course the mana source is going to jump in. Alex says, personally, I suspected it's being budgeted across overtime for physical therapy and any access seems to be going towards a charity like this uncut sheet and the mythic addition boxes, which he and his friends have ordered many, many of because it's a good value. So uh, when you donate money, there's two types of donations. There's two types of charities really that you can do. Um, you can either volunteer and give your time or donate your own money and you donate your own time or you can donate other people's money. Uh, and donating other people's money, there's nothing wrong about about that. There's millions of foundations out there by uh, individuals who are very charitable and there's galas and events and raffles. Um, I went to a gala just the other uh, a few months ago and they were raffling off Houston Texan tickets and um, a tour with the coach and the GM and all that really great stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, if you can encourage other people to donate money, then that's fine. But when people are donating money for your health, your medical health, I don't know if, so this is straight from the horse's mouth. The GoFundMe money is long gone. It's paid for medical bills, a physical therapy regime, including a physical therapy bed. So he gets a bed, shoes, MRI costs, and appointment costs with my neurologist and PCP, medication, and catastrophic insurance while I get back on my feet. Um, so there's no monetary figures. It's just kind of this uh, long list of things that 
the breakdown is unknown. Uh, and here we always get into this argument. Uh, one of the arguments I don't understand is uh, the, why the mana source always has to say that his sister did it. His sister did it. He didn't know about it. He didn't know about. It. I think he was in. I think he was the one who did it. I think given how he reacted to it after, um, I don't see what the point of pinning it on your sister would be because it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, I didn't make enough in Patreon to cover it anywhere near my expenses, let alone insurance. I've been in the hundreds on Patreon for over a year. So he's still making the argument that he should never have insurance, uh, even even to the bitter end that uh, someone with his health condition. Um, so there's two things here. Uh, one thing is he doesn't have insurance and he's saying that he cannot pay for insurance, but he can pay or he can travel to GP Las Vegas. He can pay for meals and hotels and fancy things. He can pay for a wedding, but he cannot pay for health insurance because to him, health insurance is not as important as traveling to GP Vegas and putting your health at risk. And we, we still have this debate whether like who started the Kickstarter or the GoFundMe. My sister started it without while I was in emergency surgery without my knowledge and didn't know about it until weakest after it already started. I think it's kind of strange. It's the same thing when uh, Tolarian is talking about eating aged steak. You don't need to talk about that on Twitter. You don't need to brag about winning this and then say that you're going to do it for charity. Um, many people are charitable, and just because you do charity does not mean that you can use it as a sword to lessen others. It doesn't give you the protection you believe it does. Um, there's plenty of people who do chari uh, charitable actions and who are not good people. Bernie Madoff donated a ton of money to charity. And well, it turned out he wasn't a good person. Now let's talk about the economics. Um, Wedge seems to be really interested in economics, but for someone who doesn't pay taxes or have a job, I don't know if we can take these statements. Uh, and we, I don't agree with these statements. You're right. I don't want to concentrate wealth in the rich. I want us to be a lot closer to a system where people are cared for and protected. I want redistribution from the government and fair taxes that heavily rely on the wealthy. I just want us to stop ballooning our debt. We need a tax restructure. We need a restructure on corporate tax law. What does Wedge know about corporate tax law? What does Wedge know about taxes? Uh, I would love for um, him to tell me, oh, well, I run this business. I have employees. I have this. You know, like one of the things that uh, any business deals with is taxes, of course. And... Taxes are incentivized for businesses to grow and hire people. That's the point. Like you don't want to tax businesses so much that the business can no longer hire people and they can't be competitive. Now, if you don't want the debt to balloon, then you should get a job and then help everyone pay taxes. I think part of the problem is half of the Americans do not pay any taxes. This is fact. It's not some... BS statement, it is fact. Um, so if that half of the Americans uh, worked really hard, started their businesses, uh, worked uh, part-time jobs, and paid taxes into the system, maybe we make a little bit of room in debt. Now, you can also tax the rich, well, uh, the welfare more, and that's great. But at the same time, you can do the reverse, and you can encourage people to get jobs and you can uh, do that. And the more people who have jobs, the more taxes you're going to collect. And it's very strange to me that someone who doesn't have a job, who lives at home, is now talking to us about corporate taxes. It's the same video where I made where the guy was talking about General E. Lee being like the worst general or WWE or MMA. The guy has, Weds has so many different opinions about things that he's not knowledgeable about. And his opinions are absolute. The way that he structures it, you're either with him or you're against him. 
And one of the things that he says all the time is, well, it's for charity, it's for charity, it's for charity. Wedge, go out there and volunteer your time. You like pit bulls, you tweeted about it, go volunteer at an animal shelter, take some pictures, show it to me. I'll donate some money to your charity. I mean, if you're interested in getting donations for your charity, I'll go ahead and say, yeah, I'll donate money to your charity if you spend time, if you volunteer, if you go to the uh, children's hospital and you spend your time. Time is, in many aspects, better than money because money is just a number. It doesn't really matter in the long run. But time, um, if you donate your time playing with kids, helping kids, going to your animal shelter, fostering pets. Donate your time, Wedge. If you really, truly care, that is one thing that I noticed that he does not do. Anyway, that is it. Pretty toofy video, I would say.